Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the unscheduled area of the strip board, the boneyard, how to insert a banner on the strip board, changing strip board colors, and saving the strip board. Let's go to the strip board and go all the way down to the end of the strip board. If you have a completed board, the very last strip should be at daybreak as the strips directly above it will be scheduled for that shoot day. Now what were to happen if we were to move this strip, let's say up one strip. Notice that the last strip is now a salmon color with diagonal lines through it. This indicates that this strip is an unscheduled strip. Let's go ahead and move another strip down there and then another. So we have three strips that are now unscheduled. The unscheduled area of the board is the area between the last daybreak strip on the board and the boneyard strip. Let's go ahead and save this board and I will explain to you what that means. These strips are now in no man's land. They are not attached to any shoot days. So let's note that these three scenes are scene numbers 15, 16, and 18. Let's bring up the breakdown sheet screen and go to the first scene in the unscheduled area, scene 15. And notice up here, it will say scene not scheduled. The next strip here is scene 16 and 18. Let's verify that. Click on scene 16 and you can see that the scene is not scheduled. And lastly, scene 18 also not scheduled. If we were to click on another scene, you can see that it is scheduled. Scene 5, for example, is scheduled on this date. Let's verify that on the strip board. We will find scene 5, and as you can see, this scene is indeed scheduled for this date. To schedule an unscheduled strip, simply drag the strip out of the unscheduled area onto a position on the board. Note that if we were to verify this right now on the breakdown sheets, this scene will still be flagged as not scheduled. This is because you have to save the board so that the changes will take effect. We will go over saving a little later in this lesson. The boneyard is similar to the unscheduled area. It gives you another area to place unscheduled strips or strips you simply do not want to use at all. The color of the strip is retained so you can better organize your boneyard strips. But the basic idea is that boneyard strips are also strips that are not scheduled on your board. So let's move a few strips into the boneyard. To do so, select a strip and drag it below the boneyard strip. Let's do that again and move another strip into the boneyard area. Now let's save the board. After saving the board, these strips are now saved in the boneyard section. Now, another thing you can do with the boneyard area that you cannot do with unscheduled strips is hide the boneyard. Go up to the View menu and select Boneyard. Notice you have a Show Boneyard option and a Hide Boneyard option. If you select Hide Boneyard, the boneyard is hidden from the current view. You can then toggle between showing and hiding the boneyard. You can also set the show and hide boneyard options on the modify board name screen. Here you can set the display or not display boneyard for each board. A banner is a note on your strip board. They are useful if you want to place a short note on your board between strips, for example, lunch or company move. To do this, select a strip on your board and from the strip board toolbar, select the insert banner button. I'm going to enter a note for the banner and click OK. When we return to the strip board, a new brown strip is inserted with the text of the banner. I'll add one more down here. Enter some different text for the banner and click OK. 
Now, banner strips are treated just like any other strip. You can drag and drop them up and down your board. If you want to edit the text for the banner strip, double-click on the text, and you can add or modify the text. To remove a banner strip, select the banner, and from the Stripboard menu, select Delete Banner. One more thing about banners. You can opt to print banners when you print your stripboard or not to print them. You will see that option when selecting Preferences for the Stripboard Report. You can modify the stripboard colors if desired. To do this, go to the Edit menu and select Stripboard Colors. Industry standard strip colors are set for each schedule. So if your scene or slug line is interior day, the default strip color will be white. If your slug line is exterior day, the default strip color will be yellow. If you want to change the interior night color to a lighter blue, for example, because it prints too dark on your printer, select the box to bring up the color palette. Select a lighter blue color from the palette, or from the color wheel, or from the crayon box, and click Apply. Notice that it modified the color immediately, but also notice that the white text color is still white, and now it's just a bit too hard to read. To change that, select the A2 box and change the color to black. You can also add more interior, exterior, or day-night fields here in this window. For example, let's add a new time of day called Space because we were doing a sci-fi film or a television show, and the slug line is simply Exterior Mars Space. Let's enter Space here in this unused slot and give it a color. It's up to you to assign it any color you want. Then click on the red X to make this option available to select on our breakdown sheets. Let's test this right now. I will close the stripboard colors and then move the stripboard out of the way. I'm going to select a breakdown sheet and change the day-night field to space. Notice the strip color changes accordingly. When you make changes to your stripboard, it is essential to save your changes. Let's move a strip or two, just to make sure that our board has been modified, and then click Close. Now, just in case you are wondering, the Close box on the top left-hand side of the screen if you are on a Mac, or the red Close button on the right-hand side if you are on Windows, is disabled. The only way to properly close the strip board is to either select the Close button on the bottom right-hand side of the window, or to use the keyboard shortcut Command W shown here. When you attempt to close the strip board without saving, a warning will appear, telling you save the board, cancel, or revert back to the previously last saved board. I'm going to cancel out of here. Now notice on the strip board toolbar there is a save board button. If you select this button, you will save the current board. But before I do this, notice two things. The name of the board is red and in italics. Also, the message board not saved appears on the bottom of the board. Now I'm going to save the board. When saved, the name of the board is no longer in red and no longer in italics. Also, the message no longer appears on the bottom of the board. So this board is currently saved. I can now close the strip board. Let's return to the strip board. I'm going to move a single strip. As I do, take note that the second I drop the strip in a new position, the board is no longer saved. You don't have to save it after every move. That would be like saving a Word document every time you type a letter. The active board is in current memory, so it's not going anywhere until you close the board again. And you will receive a warning if the board is not saved. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.